Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the card of today for the 3rd of November 2016. Um, <clears throat> the cards I've used again today are the Osho cards. I'm really liking them, so I think I'll probably stick with these for the rest of the week. Um, but a lovely, lovely card that's come through. Uh, quite interesting considering what the cards were yesterday as well. You know, it sort of hits on. It's always like a bit of a follow on with it. So the card that I've picked today is Receptivity. Now, it's a really, really lovely, lovely card, this, and it's almost like you can sort of feel the water that this figure is actually emerging themselves in. Um, and if we notice within this, the figure has no head here. Um, so what this card is saying is it's telling you to stop letting your head rule your life. You know, there's there's no busy minds in this. You know, there's no thoughts. There's no monkey mind or anything. And there's no control in actions. Now, Yesterday, we talked about um, the conditioning and how society or other people can put us, you know, put restrictions on us. This card is just saying, just let them all go, you know. Um, and this figure is just, just like I say, immersing itself in, in the water here. And this is allowing itself to be cleansed, to be replenished. And, you know, it, it feels really, really good. There's a really, like, refreshing feeling coming with, with this card. Um, I don't know, I love the water and there's something about, you know, just putting yourself, putting your head under the, the, the sea, you know, and just feeling it all over you. And it's, it's very, very healing as well. Um, this card is actually known as the Queen of Water, which is significant within Tarot as the Queen of Cups. Um, and the, when the Queen of Cups comes in, it always brings sort of like a nurture, you know, there's compassion there, there's empathy. And there's a lot of encouragement as well. You know, the Queen of Cups is like, she's the nurturer of, of the tarot deck, you know. So this is something that makes you feel good and also makes you feel secure as well. And this is, isn't just secure in sort of a financial sense or something like that. It's this card is saying it's talking about emotional security as well, you know, because there's, there's a lot of emotions comes in when we have... Uh, water cards come in within the Osho. So, you know, this is all about being safe within your emotions as well. Um, being safe to receive them and being safe to express them as well. And when the Queen of Water comes in, it's saying that like, you know, she knows that things come and go and she accepts this, you know, and she doesn't grasp or she doesn't cling on. She just allows things to flow. And that is sort of the key word with this card as well. You know, it's all about it's all about flowing. Um, if we remember Bruce Lee as well, he'd said, be like water, my friend. And this is just, you know, water will just go naturally where where it's meant to. Um, and within this card, if we have a look at it, the lotus flower here. Now, a lot of times we see lotus flowers as pink. In this card, it, it's all blues, you know. So blue is very healing, but it's also connected with your throat chakra as well. So it's all about communication. Um, and if we have a look at the lotus flower here, this is, it's a sign of strength, but it's also a sign of being at one and being in tune as well, you know. So it's like whatever you are feeling, just go with it, you know, like sort of dive in if that makes sense. So like I say, we've talked about the throat chakra here as well. So it's talking, it's communication, and it's saying it's essential at this time, you know. And by doing this, by actually speaking freely, um, speaking about your emotions and, uh, you know, just this is also healing as well, you know, so it, it, it's getting things out. It's bringing things to the surface. But if you think when we're in water, we're supported as well, you know, so like I say, we can float on water and, and stuff like that. So the support is there for you to be able to do this as well. Um, so this by by communicating and talking about your emotions this will bring in the healing and the peace that you actually deserve, you know. Um, this card as well also talks a lot about sensitivity, intuition, you know, and compassion again. There's a, there's a very, like, loving feel coming in with this card. And it's saying that all of these all of these sort of qualities are shining forth now within your life. And what this is doing, because you're feeling secure, because you're speaking your truth, because you're, you're, you're opening up emotionally, what is happening is all of the obstacles that you have encountered or are encountering are sort of just dissolving away, you know? And when we have obstacles like that, what can happen is this can keep us separate. 
So it's a bit like the ego, you know, the ego separates us. But what it said in the beginning is, you know, when we get out of our head, which is nine times out of 10, our ego, this is when, you know, we we sort of merge and we stop being um, separate from, from the whole, you know, that this is what it is. So our ego separates us, our soul connects us, you know. Um, so like I say, when you are in your head all of the time, you know, that can... I don't know, it can it can cause a lot of problems for us, you know. So this is about letting letting the, turn your mind off, you know. Um not replaying old images, old sort of old habits as well in, in, in your head, you know, just turn your mind off and just being, you know. So it's a real card of like being present, you know. A lot of times when we're working on ego, we are thinking about the past or we are worrying about the future, you know? And the thing is, the past now doesn't exist. It's gone. That's why it is called the past. It's gone. The future doesn't exist neither because, you know, none of us can really predict it, you know, in, like, I mean, you know, we can in a way, but not in a fully way. So the, the future is, you know, it's not real yet. So what this card is saying is about being present, you know, bringing yourself into today, you know, because at the moment today, now is all we have and just surrendering. If, if we have a look there, her arms are outstretched, you know, we have this, this is sort of like the Kundalini actually going through our body and this is going through all the chakras. So it's making sure her chakras are aligned and this in turn is allowing her to speak her truth, you know, and begin the, the healing process. The universe has a plan for all of us. And I know at times that that is really hard to grasp, especially when things seem to be going in a way that we don't want them to or something like that. But as I keep saying, you know, we've got to remember that everything happens for us, not to us. You know, when we take it personally, that is when something is happening to us. But, you know, a year down the line, two year down the line, line you're going to look back at what's happened think, right, okay, I get it, I understand where why that happened, you know, even if at the minute there is sort of a bit confusion with it. So no matter how much we try to change that plan that the universe has or manipulate it or whatever, it's never going to work because, you know, the universe is powerful, more powerful than, than any of us. So what this card is saying is strip yourself of any expected outcomes that you have or any projections that you have for the future and just surrender, you know, just trust and surrender. Allow yourself to be guided. Stop overthinking and see where you are being led to. You know, so this is a real time to look out for signs, you know, be open, be receptive to whatever comes your way. Um, Gabrielle Bernstein is, you know, I've, I've done a few workshops with her and she's, she's, she's a great teacher. And she talks about getting up every morning and saying, right, where would you have me go? What would you have me do? And who would you have me uh, meet? And once you do this and once you do fully surrender, you will find opportunities, you know, basically come knocking at your door. So, you know, you could miss them when you've got this rigid, rigid plan. So this card is saying really be fluid, you know, and most of all, be honest, be honest to other people, speak your truth. But most importantly, be honest to yourself today. You know, once you are honest to yourself, once you stand in your truth and once you stand in your authenticity, this is when everything flows, you know, and this is when you will get to where you're being drawn to, you know, so you don't have to think about it. It's actually really easy because once you give up and once you surrender, you're re like releasing control of things as well. So it allows you to relax and the universe will take you to wherever you need to go, you know, and it will be the best place for you, you know, because the universe is, you know, it never does anything to us that's detrimental. So with this card, it's saying, you know, stop swimming against the tide, let go of control, you know, and just, just be guided. Now, when Osho talks about this card, what he says is, listening is one of the basic secrets of entering into the temple of God. Listening means passivity. Listening means forgetting yourself completely. Only then can you listen. When you listen attentively to somebody, you forget yourself. If you cannot forget yourself, you will never listen. If you are too self-conscious about yourself, you simply pretend that you are listening, you don't listen. You may nod your head, you may say something like yes or no, but you're not really listening. 
When you listen, you become just a passage, a passivity, a receptivity, a womb. You become feminine and to arrive, one has to become feminine. You cannot reach God as aggressive invaders, conquerors. You cannot reach God only or it will be better to say God can only God can reach you only when you are receptive, a feminine receptivity. When you become yin, a receptivity, the door is open and you wait. Listening is the art for becoming passive. So this is, you know, a lot of times when we're listening, you know, um, we, we forget to listen to the universe. We forget to listen to, to what it's saying to us. And every single one of us is being guided. Whether you have developed enough to hear that voice or not, there is still this little voice that comes into everybody's head and is there to guide them. But we need to quiet our mind in order to actually hear that. You know, once we quiet our mind, we can hear our soul speak. Um, a lot of times when people are talking as well and having conversations, they aren't listening to what's being said. They're waiting to reply. So they've already got their reply in their head. So they're not actually taking in the information that the other person is saying. And this is actually quite disrespectful to the other person as well, because if somebody is telling you something, it's because they feel it's important, whether you think it's important or not. This person is actually wanting to share something with you. So if you are just switching off to them, it's actually quite rude. So today, really, like I say, be receptive. You know, if somebody's talking to you, take the time to listen to them. Look them in the eye. See how their, see how their body is when they're, they're telling you. See what their language is like, you know, and really take the time to respect that other person's words. You know, words are very, very important. But if we're not listening to them, you know, we don't hear exactly what that other person is saying. You know, so really take time today just to, to try and listen, you know, to to anybody that you come in contact with who has something to say to you. And don't just listen in order to reply, you know. So like I say, a little bit of a quiet time, I think, and quieting the mind. But it's a lovely, lovely card. It's really like very, very refreshing. You know, it's like a, I don't know, cold shower, or, you know, when you get that lovely rain that you just feel like alive with. You know, so it it is. There's there's a lot of magic in this card as well. If we have a look, it's all it's all twinkly and stuff like that. And once you change just this little thing to actually listening properly to somebody, you know, you will find that you will gain answers that you're you're looking for as well. So I hope you like that card. Um I do have availability for readings uh, left for this week and for this weekend. So if anybody would like a reading, please get in touch on either my Facebook page, which is Love Buddha Tarot Readings, or on my website. The link is below. There is an offer on still at the moment uh, that I put on for Halloween. Um, there's a page on my website, which if you just click on the link there, it will take you straight through to PayPal and it will take the money off uh, the reading. So please get in touch. Spaces are limited. So if you want one, then please be quick because I kind of honour the offer once all of the spaces are gone. So I would love to hear from you. And like I say, you know, readings can often bring clarity. And, you know, sometimes when we're stuck in something, it's like we can't see the wood for the trees and just looking at a different view of it. You know, um, spirit always try and guide us in the right direction. So just by looking at a different view, you know, it can give us give us sort of that eureka moment and see how we can actually move on within life. So they are very, very valuable. So uh, like I say, if anybody wants to read and please get in touch with me and I'll be back tomorrow with the card of today. Satnam.